What's up, everybody? Welcome to Lucid Man Vlogs, and today I wanted to talk about the movie The Batman and why I think that it wasn't really a, that great of a movie. Why? Because psychologically, it doesn't make sense. Now, it's fine if you liked it. I'm not trying to make people not like it. Um, it has many great aspects, such as the music, visuals, a lot of the acting is really good. But at the end of the day, it doesn't make sense. Why? Because if you're going to make a Batman movie, you have to understand what the character of Batman is about. You can't just start throwing things into the mix and be like, well, this is, the, this is Batman. It's like, no, that's not Batman. Because it doesn't make sense. Batman represents a certain archetype. In particular, Batman represents the archetype of somebody that's been through something extremely psychologically traumatic and has turned this into great meaning. He has turned his pain into great strength. Okay, so the Batman that we got, Robert Pattinson, okay, um, so yeah, he's, he's emo Batman. Batman is not emo. Batman is a man of action, okay? Batman does not sit around depressed with black makeup on his eyes, all right? Batman is in the gym. Batman is hitting the books. Batman is learning, studying getting smarter and better. He has all that pain that he has, it's fueled into becoming this, really a Superman, a superior human with genius level intellect, completely fearless. Why? Because he's mastered his own darkness. He has mastered the ultimate darkness. That's why he's Batman. So, now the emo thing, it's not just from the makeup around his eyes, okay? Um, it's also the fact that they used one of Kurt, Kurt Cobain's possibly most depressing songs, which I believe is about suicide, as Batman's theme song. They played it in there in the beginning and the end. Okay, like, that is not the vibe of Batman. So, I'm sorry, uh, you people that wrote this movie. Like, you do not understand Batman from your just your Hollywood pretentiousness. Why? Because you don't understand darkness. You clearly don't. Christopher Nolan, he understands darkness. And when I say darkness, I mean... The metaphorical darkness. The most darkest experiences. Dark is not always bad. Dark has both positive and negative connotations, right? So he actually takes the negative of darkness and he turns it into the positive, right? So his darkness, you know, it's the great tragedy But it also becomes his invisibility, his silence, his fearlessness. So going back to the Kurt Cobain thing, Robert Pattinson even said that Kurt Cobain was his inspiration, one of his main inspirations for the character. Please. Okay, look, look at, you know, uh, Kurt Cobain was an amazing genius artist. But he was not healed. That's why he didn't last. He was spiritually sick, which led to him having physical things happen to him as a result of the choices he made based on the unhealed emotions, okay? Batman is the healed individual. He is happy. He is at peace. He enjoys being Batman. His life has meaning because he helps the kids. He helps 
stop the spread of tragedy. He's actually not vengeance. If Batman killed, then he would be vengeance. So this whole thing, the whole way they treated the vengeance was very superficial um, and kind of corny because he's about justice. Take out that, take out, I mean, take out him moping around with the black makeup, okay? Oh, yeah, see, because then the, the, the moping, it keeps going, right? Because in this version... Which again, this is why, like this movie, it, it, like yeah, it's enjoyable, but it doesn't actually make sense. It's not that deep, okay? Because now you have not only is Batman so like Bruce Wayne just goes around sulking, so there's really not that much difference between Bruce Wayne and Batman because the actual character of Batman, the whole idea is that his true self essentially is Batman. And when he goes out into society, uh, Bruce Wayne is this mask, is this character that he plays. So people don't realize that he's Batman. So they won't try to hurt the people that Bruce Wayne loves. Where if they find out that, you know, Batman is Bruce Wayne, then they can go attack Alfred. They can attack Lucius Fox. Just anybody that he knows. They can, right? So... So in this one, he's just sad all the time. That doesn't make sense. That's not Batman because he has healed himself. He has overcome the trauma, thus giving him greater power. That's what Batman is all about. One thing that the movie did get right is when it showed the Batman holding the torch and he was helping lead the people out of that... Uh, I don't know, they, they were in something. Um, but they're in the darkness, and he helps them get out of that darkness, and you see them follow him back to the light. Okay, because th this is what Batman is. Batman is your guide in the darkness. He is the one, he is the only one that his power really symbolically is that in the darkest dark, he is not lost. He can still see the light. So his job essentially becomes to help people lost in the darkness. He's like a dark angel bringing them back to the light. 